Good evening, I'm Lee Mills. And I'm John Stofflet. In our big story at 10, the Madison School District Board has unanimously passed a $504 million spending plan for its schools. NBC15's Amy Flugsopt was at the meeting that just wrapped up. She joins us now live to explain what it means for your taxes. Amy? John and Lee, yeah, for the second year in a row, property taxes are going to be going up by about $100, and that's on an estimated increase on an average home valued at about $260,000. Even so, the board calls this a, quote, responsible budget. Now, before tonight's vote, several people got up to speak. Teachers pleading for fewer cuts in technology, saying that that's an integral part of the students' learning. Parents and students explained to the board how cuts to curriculum, such as foreign language, is actually putting them behind other students as they continue their education. Before the meeting, though, I did talk briefly with Superintendent Jennifer Cheatham, who says this is a difficult time for the district as the school is facing a $14.8 million budget deficit and cuts are necessary to try and balance this budget. We put a pause on the second cohort of schools where we were going to integrate technology. Um, we had to pause some work we were planning on doing to develop career pathways at the high school level. Doesn't mean we're not doing it, we're just having to slow down our work in those areas. Uh, we also, of course, had to make some pretty severe cuts here at Central Office um, that also affected schools. Um, that was some very difficult decision making. The district has already cut 100 positions that were previously in the budget. While there are a lot of cuts because of things like a reduction in state aid, about 40,000 was added to the budget tonight through amendments, including a raise for school board members, bringing their stipend to about 8,000 a year. Board President James, James Howard said there hasn't been a raise given to board members in 20 years. Now, Superintendent Cheatham says the board has been working on this budget since January, and tonight's budget is only a preliminary budget, preliminary numbers. Those final numbers will be made available sometime in October. Reporting live in Madison, Amy Fluxopt, NBC 15 News.